Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect gravy at home. What we want to do is start with a great organic chicken broth that you can pick up at Whole Foods. And we're just going to impart it with a whole bunch of different flavors. So first we're just going to get a real hot pan, add in a little oil, and we're going to brown some chicken gizzards. What you can do is use the giblets or the turkey neck that you got out of your turkey and just add these for a little extra flavor. And what we want to do is get these nice and brown, and that golden brown richness is really going to come through in the stock. So what we're going for is a nice caramelization on the giblets themselves and also on the pan. All that flavor is going to cook right into our sauce. We're going to throw in some diced up onion. Red or white will do just fine. Some slivered garlic. I think the more the merrier. A few dry Thai chilies just for a little bit of heat. We're going to let this sweat for just a minute or two. And then what we're going to do to make a nice, rich, thick sauce is to add in a little bit of butter and a little bit of flour, which is called a roux. We're going to start off with the butter and just let that melt a little bit. This is a classic French technique using many sauces just to make them nice and nappé. You can run your finger on the back of the spoon and it's nice and thick. We're pretty much going to have equal parts of butter and flour. So we've got about an ounce of butter in there, along with a little bit of fat that came out of our giblets. We're going to add in about an ounce of flour. There we go. We're just going to stir that in. We want to really cook the flour taste out of the roux before we add in our other ingredients. So just about a minute or two. Once the flour is cooked out, we can go ahead and start adding in our liquids. We're just going to whisk in some of our chicken broth. Whisking in will uh, help to avoid making a nice lumpy gravy, which I'm sure we've all experienced from time to time. And you can see as I'm adding in the liquid, I'm able to scrape off some of this nice brown goodness, the caramelization that's wound up on the edges of the pan. I can actually see it starting to thicken already. All right, now we've got our delicious broth in there. Now we're going to add a whole bunch of layers of flavor to really make an exciting sauce. Here we go with a little bit of Dijon mustard. Some of these might seem a little bit strange, but I promise the layers of flavor will work just great. Splash of soy, just a saltiness that's hard to get from anything else. A little bit of red wine. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. And a little bit of diced tomato. We're just going to stir that up. What we're going to do is bring this to a boil and let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes until it's nice and thickened. And we'll give it a taste and see how we're doing. After about 20 minutes of simmering, we want to go ahead and check the consistency of our gravy nice and nappe, and we'll go ahead and check the taste and see if we need to make any adjustments. Tastes great, just a little bit of heat coming from the Thai chilies, nice little saltiness from the soy and the Worcestershire. It's a really beautiful gravy. Now we're just gonna strain out all of the yummy tidbits that we put in, in there. There you go. Just pour it through a fine mesh sieve and your gravy's all ready to go. Enjoy.